What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top left hand corner of Catalyst LE playing with the red Protoss pieces. We have a player who goes by the name of Hass. And his opponent currently up 1-0 in this semi-final series on the WCS Pro Circuit. His opponent playing with the blue Protoss pieces. His name is is showtime so showtime guys uh is up currently one to nothing against Hass, and what a very uh well played match for him in game number one you guys can check that game out now on the youtube channel but look guys it's gonna be uh interesting and, it's, and, and showtime's a very tough player to beat Hass is is definitely not a stranger to StarCraft 2 though. This guy is an absolute beast when it comes to the Protoss pieces. And I'm super excited to see how he responds to being down one to nothing. So um, let's see what these two players decide to do here in game number one. It looks like a gateway into two assimilators. Um, and then of course another gateway for Hass. So he's starting out with two gateways once again like he did in game number one. And it looks like on the opposite side, very similar in their build orders once again. Showtime and Hass, it's almost like they are reading each other's minds as to what the two are planning on doing here. A Cybernetic score is now coming up for both players. Now the question that I'm wondering, is this Showtime gonna get more aggressive now that he has a lead here of one game to nothing? So, you know, if it were me, at least uh, I would, I would it pro most likely, I may go for a little bit of some cheese in game number two. Maybe I would wait till game number three. But uh, Showtime, uh, if, if I were him, I would maybe test the waters a little bit again to see maybe um, it looks like Hass is going to most likely go for a relatively standard build once again. Um, whereas Showtime may very well be doing the exact same thing. Um, possibly going for a little bit of, uh, possibly going for a little bit of some cheese in game number two. I'm wondering if Hass may do the same thing, may go for some cheese as well, um, just because, well, why not? Why not try to cheese his opponent while being down one to nothing? But it doesn't look like there's any cheese really coming up here, at least at this point in the game. Um, looks like a Stargate is what Hass is choosing to go with, at least uh, at this point in the game. Um, looks like the same can be said for our uh, blue Protoss player. And the expansion's coming up now for, uh, for Showtime, whereas Hass is taking a little bit more time to get that um, expansion here um, out. So he's going to be a little bit behind Showtime at least in the short term here when it comes to economy, unless uh, Hass is planning on going on a one base all in, which I highly doubt at this stage in the game. A couple of stalkers are out now. Shield battery is going to be coming up at the natural expansion here. And it looks like Phoenixes are what the tech of choice is going to be for Hass. On the opposite side, it looks like Showtime is thinking a little bit of the same. He's also going to be getting those adapts. He's playing a lot with those adapts. And I like the decision a lot. Both players are getting the Warp Gate research right now. And, the and another um, another Phoenix is on that production tab currently for our uh, for Showtime here. So he's definitely planning on playing. It looks like a pretty similar of a style. Um, and at the same time, it looks like Hass is planning on going with the Stalker play once again. Very interesting. The only difference that Haas has these uh, Phoenixes, which I think are going to really help out with any type of aggression that comes across the map from uh, Showtime. And as you guys can tell and see as you watch these games, you'll notice that each player, they do make adjustments usually. If you're a really good StarCraft II player, you're making adjustments as you go. Um, each game is different in and of itself, so you're definitely going to want to see if there's any kinds of adjustments that you should make. That being said, those adepts did shade in and have decided to back off. The natural expansion is now finally coming up here for Hass, so he is well behind where Showtime is already happily mining on these two bases. A second Stargate's coming up, so I'm wondering if Showtime's planning on getting really aggressive with some Phoenixes. Uh, he's already got four of them out on the map at this current point. 
probe uh, is going to be coming down here this uh, left hand side these adepts once again do shade in and they decide not to commit yet four phoenixes are up four are out of the stargate as well a couple of more gateways are coming up a dark shrine so that's very interesting dark shrine is uh what has has decided to do a dark shrine and easily enough those phoenixes get the kills on those adepts so uh, I don't know if that Shaden was probably the smartest decision by Showtime, at least at this point um, in the game here. He is showing a economic lead, at least at this point, probably because he got the second base up relatively quickly. The Probe has got a proxy pylon down here near uh, the third base location. I'm wondering if Showtime is going to scout this out. Does not look like that's going to be the case here. And Showtime's going into this kind of blind, but at the same time, he is bringing out more and more of these Phoenixes. And this is the kind of style that he loves to play. So we'll see how uh, how Showtime decides to play this. Um, looks like there are some Dark Templar that are going to be coming out here very, very soon. Four of them on that production tab. So uh, should be interesting e enough. The... Um, these Dark Templar are going to come in, and there is no detection here. There is absolutely no detection. Uh, I don't think Showtime doesn't even seem like he even has this, at least at this point. He is going to trap this army. Oh, my God. He just trapped the army completely here. One way or another, this entire army is getting destroyed by these Dark Templar. The Dark Templar are doing exactly what they want right now. One swipe and all of these probes are just going down, completely throwing our blue Protoss player Showtime out of, uh, out, completely, out, out, like, off his game here. He absolutely did not realize that this was going to be something that was happening. And right off the bat, more and more of these Dark Templars, they are surrounding the probes. And just like that, Hass is taking, has taken a significant lead at this point absolutely destroying the production here on uh, his opponent getting more and more probe kills here oh the the damage is just absolutely out of this world right now he's trying to take out another one of these pylons the dark templars are everywhere the dark shrine switch guys was absolutely the game changer in this game and has ties the series up one game to one. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Hass and Showtime. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive. And as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.